Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So it's Thursday, and that can only mean one thing. We have another amazing update from the Space Engineers developers. So what have we got our hands on that this week, you're probably asking? Well, we've got two new blocks and a hell of a load of fixes and some really nice features to have a look at. Now, these two blocks I'm actually looking at here is a remote control block on the left and on the right is a timer block. So I'm just gonna basically cover what they can be used for and then we'll go and have a look at some more in-depth uses. So the timer block itself has a control panel here and if we have a look at this, we can actually set a delay on this timer and we can use this to set up like a, a sort of repeater so we can have a certain action happening after that amount of time has been given up or we can have that repeating. Now the ro remote control block works exactly what it says. You can remotely control ships, stations and facilities and even vehicles that are drivable. So let's have a look at that example. So we'll exit our station here and we'll go and have a look at some of the drones that I've constructed. Now the drones themselves work quite effectively, quite easily, and you can use the camera. Now there's a few things you're gonna to need to be able to set your remote control block up. First off, we have the remote control block itself that's located on the top. Now whichever way you put this is gonna be the way that the controls are set up. Now secondly, you might wanna put a camera on so you can actually see what you're doing. But more importantly, you're going to need an antenna and you're going to need to decide the range of that antenna. Now, with these all together, we can pretty much control this ship from another location. The final thing we need to do is set all these items to belong to yourself. So you can see they're all set to me. And if you want to use these with a group, you can obviously set them to the faction or share with all. Now, let's actually have a little bit of a look at the ship outside. So we've got a Henry Mining variant as the drone modification outside. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a basic connection to that ship. So we have the Henry drill. We're going to connect up to that. And we're going to find the remote control block and hit control. And there we go. Now, Henry here himself is pretty much the same ship as you saw before. I can power his thrusters, control his reverse thrusters, and I can even control his drills. And what I've done below is I've set up a control panel so I can view all his cameras. So I've got this camera located on the back of his fin so you can see when he's drilling and mining. And we've also got one as a reverse camera and one as a forward camera so we can see what sort of work we're doing. Now, if we pop off that camera by pressing T, we're back at our control panel and we're also out of control of that ship. Now let's move on to our other ship. This is the other Henry that is actually at an asteroid ready to sort of do some drilling. And we find the remote block and I may as well just type it in. Remote control. And we hit control. And this time we move in on the camera. We can actually see we're at an asteroid and we can actually begin doing some mining. And you can hear that there's not too much sound. I'm not sure if sound's gonna be added to the cameras later on, but we're mining away. We've got different perspectives, we've got the rear, we've got a nice up close rock inspection. It's just really nice to be able to do this remotely and you can hide yourself away within a bunker. Now let's get off that. Now talking about bunkers, you could do a lot of different things with this. Let's hop out and enter our main control bay. Now we've got my original ship here that's had a few little upgrades and a few updates. Now this was just a little bit of an add-on I wanted to test out. These are small remote drones and you can actually control them from inside the ship here. So you could have one small ship and you could have with inside a load of controls to control these drones and it could go absolutely wild. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is detach these drones. You can see the doors are going back up on the sensor and we're gonna detach these with the landing gears P and now we should be able to remotely find them. So we've got the small ships here. So let's actually select that one. And what we're gonna do now is find the control box, control, and we should have control, as you can see, of one of these little ships. Now, if you put your remote control block on the wrong way, you'll notice that you're going to have a lot of problems straight away. Otherwise, it's going to be a lot easier to actually control them themselves. Now, these are nice little drones, little machine gun wheeling drones you could use to sneak up. Let's grab onto the camera and we'll view through that camera. And we can actually see the sort of perspective we've actually got here. We could zoom out, let's move left and right. And come back come up and down and it's quite a little bit of a dangerous combination let's get some weaponry online grab our machine guns and you can actually see the red dots have popped up on the camera so we could actually move around scan for targets and take out a few people if we wish we could even try boarding an enemy vessel it's just a really nice idea to have a think about 
Now if we pop off that, we can exit our control panel, we can walk back down our steps, and we can actually have a look at the timer block now. So we've had a look at the remote control block, and I'm sure there's a lot more things that we can do with that. But let's actually have a look at the timer block. Now this is the timer block itself, and we're going to access its control panel and we'll have a look at it. Now the setup actions key is just like all the other different things like the buttons, we can actually drag things and we can have a number of different sorts of settings. So we can set up a whole variety of different complex settings, we can have pistons sort of relaying, we can have rotors spinning and so on. But for this basic test I've just set up two thrusters in this hallway and I'm going to show you how this works. So the, when we start it, you'll notice that it starts to beep to the seconds that we've set it at, so I've set it to 5 seconds, then after 5 seconds it activates and goes green. Now what I've actually done on this is I've set a relay so after it stops, it'll stop like that, and then it'll restart itself and it'll be counting down once again, as you can see, so it's going to be doing 5 second pulses. Now you could also use this for loading systems, mine layers, and you could basically use it to transfer two different items between two different areas relaying them at the same time. Now you don't have to just use one, you could use two of these and you could set them as an offset and with the offset you could have one set of thrusters turning on at one point and one setting off at the other and you could actually have them resetting each other at the same time making it a little bit easier and a little bit less complicated. Anyway let's continue on. Now something that was also quite interesting was the ability to actually show the field of the gravity generator and the sensor without using the F11 menu because the F11 menu wasn't actually available in multiplayer. So now with a few clicks and presses of a variety of different buttons you can actually see the sensor and you'll be able to work with them and manipulate them as you wish. I'll show you how to set this up. So you simply hop into here, you go to the info and you tick show gravity generator range and show sensor range. So if I untick this, you'll see the box has disappeared. And if I retick this to actually show that I maybe wanted to work on these, you can see these boxes have appeared. So we've got green for the gravity generator and we've got red for the sensor. Perfect for manipulating their fields. So the final thing that was added was the ability for sensors to actually detect large ships and therefore you can do things like this can actually deploy your landing gear as you come into land. So it's pretty sweet, one less thing that you don't have to worry about. So as I take off, landing gear is going to retract and I can basically just blast off. Now I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I can't wait to see what you guys are going to come up with with these new features.